Hey y'all, long time no see. We're gonna have to stop meeting this way. I just wanted to pop in and give you guys a little bit of an update. I went a little MIA this week and normally I would fill you in on life like in a cash stuffing and I probably will do some of that. Y'all, I'm just filming on my camera so if I'm looking this way and this way, I'm not I'm not certain where to stare. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I'm not going, I, I will get into life like in cash stuffings. That's what I do as well. But I had pre-filmed an unstuffing video, which you guys will likely get soon. However, I filmed it like a week and a half ago at this point because I filmed it early thinking that I would upload it during a trip that I was going on and I did end up going on my trip, but y'all life has been lifing. I know you guys can understand it. Oh my gosh, excuse my nails. Um, I know you guys get it. It's, it's been a season of my life, right? And I think a lot of us these last few years have been going through these seasons, probably a little more than we were before now, you know, it's just the world's worlding life is lifing. Thanks for doing things. I did want to tell you guys though, um, this is going to be a little bit vague, but a little bit filling you in because not all of this information is mine to share. So also giving you this kind of just unedited, wanted to give you a quick update because I've been a little MIA, but I did get to go on a trip. I had full intention of uploading while I was there. Something pretty major happened within my family health wise. It's not me. It's not the boys. Um, we're fine. And everybody in this scenario is fine as well, but I have just, y'all know the move hit me in a very emotional spot. Um, there's been some life things that have been just very emotional too. And I feel like when I get in these places, YouTube is the thing that is taken off of my plate. However, this is my full-time income and I typically do keep you guys a little bit more in the loop. So I hate to just like disappear on you and then throw up, uh, not, not throw up, th throw out this random video. Like tomorrow I will probably send out the cash unstuffing and it's going to be a little bit later than I intended. So probably just a little bit like late on the info as well. Anyway, we went on a trip. We had a great time. I do still have some content that will come out around that. It's going to be just more focused on budgeting for a trip though, instead of the full vlog like I had intended. And, um, and then some videos that I did pre-film, which would have hit at different points. So they're going to feel a little bit outdated. Uh, those are coming. Uh, sorry, I'm getting messages. Those are just coming like at you guys these next few days. And then we will be back on track. I did want to tell you though, if you got an order for me before we move into shop, I guess I should just clarify, super clarify. Everybody's fine. Everything is well. It just sort of worked out that where I was going to vacation though is kind of where I needed to be for my mental health. Um, I needed to be around some people that I was around. <laughs> this is literally the biggest update, but again, it doesn't have to do with me or my kids. And typically when it comes to like my kids' health and stuff too, I try to keep all of that private. But let's just say there was some major things happen this week. And while I thought I was going on vacation, it turned out I really just ended up being where I needed to be. And I'm very, very thankful for that. Um, but some like work things kind of fell off schedule because of that. That's, I guess, the the most <laughs> broad update I can give while still kind of like cluing you in. Like there's just been some stuff happen. To tell you guys where I'm at though, with the move, I'm feeling pretty good. It was great. I did go back to Mississippi to, um, to see family and I got to do that still. So I think it was a huge boost in my mood just to see family and to remember I that some of my feelings here, I think that have been a struggle are because my parents are back in Mississippi and they're such a huge part of mine and my boy's life, right? So there's that update. I will say where I'm at now, I feel great. I'm really happy to be back in the house. Y'all, the weather has changed. Can y'all see I'm back in Iowa and it's like literally I was gone for a week and I came back to a more spring weather that I'm familiar with. The tornadoes came through here. That's another thing. I literally, y'all, that first bound round of tornadoes came through that went through Omaha and then they came through Iowa. We hunkered down for like the four hours that came through our area. And then I packed bags and drove away 
pretty much immediately as those were happening. So I did want to update you. We are safe. I hope that if you were in the path of the tornadoes that kind of went through the Midwest this last week, I hope you're safe and you're doing well. Um, there's been a lot of just like an emotional roller coaster this week for me. I guess that's the update I can give you without getting too much into it. It's like I, I had been here in Des Moines for six weeks. I kind of was at my limit with, uh, I, I don't know, I talked to a friend in Mississippi and they were telling me that six weeks is about the point that you kind of get through that culture shock of going somewhere new. There's somebody who has lived in a bunch of different places their whole life. So I was like, she's like six weeks is the point where you either like you, you commit and you're ready and you're good, generally speaking, or you run away. And I was like, girl, I literally ran away. I ran away. But while I was away, some different things happened. Uh, there's been some ups, there's been some downs, but I'm at the point right now where I'm feeling really, really good about the move. And I feel like we are past that like sixth week slump of the new move. And I'm really excited too. This, we're in my living room right now. I have not been fixing things up in the house because I've been like, I don't know how I feel. My boys are playing outside right now. I'm feeling amazing. I'm feeling good. Like there are, our, our yard is little, but I have some ideas of how to make it work for us. The living room, I'm excited to fix up soon. Anyway, this is the most random um, video, but I just want to tell you, like, I know I've been going through a lot of emotions on this channel these last six weeks. I'm at a point where I'm feeling really good, though, and I'm sure I'm just going to keep having... Life is hard, right? Life is hard for all of us. I hate when my feelings start to bleed all over the channel, though, and I know that's been happening, but I'm at a good point with all of the things. I have some new products for the shop, moving into like shop talk. I have some new products for the shop that I'm really excited about because work does really excite me and make me happy. So some things I ordered a month ago are gonna be here and trickling in these next couple of weeks. So I'm excited about that. I did end up getting um, some more of these placeholders, if you guys remember these. So these are back in the shop. And I did today, relaunch a bunch of stuff. So if you enjoy a lot of my shop stuff and you haven't been seeing it for sale, there's a good chance it's relaunched right now if it's some of the binders that have been created in the last six months. I did want to say too, there are um, maybe 10 orders that are sitting there that I have not fulfilled. So if that's one of your orders, thank you for ordering over this last week. I have been a little MIA in the shop, but if you ordered this last week, and I haven't shipped it yet, and you would like a placeholder, I am giving placeholders, one of them, for free for all of my orders. So if you have, you're one of those 10 orders and you ordered, let me know on the Etsy, see like messages, if you would like a 100, a 500, or a 1000 sent to you as one of your freebies. And if you order this week, as you're seeing this go live, uh, you get a placeholder as one of your freebies as well. So let me know if you would like the 100, 500, or 1000. I will send you one of them for free. I'm just really excited. I got a huge stock of them. So they are relaunched if you would like to purchase them as well, but I'm also giving away just one it as freebies as a thank you. Thank you to those 10 orders that came in this, la this last week. And thank you to those of you that, uh, that maybe will order this week as well. Another thing, um, moving forward with the shop i am creating some just set work hours we've been going for a long time now y'all where i have not had set work hours while my boys are schooling because we've been homeschooling this last couple of years and i've had a really hard time finding balance however um i recently ordered if this looks familiar to any of you homeschool mamas i am starting bju press now i I consider myself a Christian, but I am a secular homeschooler. It's a, it's a whole thing. This is very Christian. So we will see how this works for me because it is very, um, Bible-y, churchy. I don't know. I'm, we're going to see how we like it, but just mentioning it because if you are somebody who works and needs to homeschool, but be a little more hands off, I did recently get basically all of the subjects that we don't have super nailed down like we are moving into next school year for my boys so my boys are just starting second and fourth grade um we're not taking a summer break i they have the option to go to public school if they want to be on a public school schedule but if i'm home working they can do a couple hours of schoolwork 
during the summer, right? So we're working on perfecting our schedules to where I'm going to be getting up early and working from 6 a.m. until about one or two, depending on the day. We still have some flexibility because we have built the life. Like <laughs> we homeschool and we work, you know, like we do what we do so that we can have flexibility. But for the most part, I'm working on crafting out some specific work hours. This is the year that I want to launch the paper planner line. So in order to do all of the things, I know I had to pawn some stuff off being homeschool, homeschool. I'm still like doing it. But if you don't know, BJU Press is like, they still have their readers. They still have workbooks, but there is an actual teacher for classes and she teaches for 10, 15 minutes, depending on the class. And then they do their reading and their work. So it's very hands off for the parents. Um, so I am creating some, some balance and creating some work hours. So I am very hopeful that you guys are going to see me more often because I am finally just kind of hunkering down and realizing like it's only, all the things are only going to get done if we schedule them and I carve out time for them. And my work stuff, honestly, and work for me is YouTube and Etsy. And I would like to create the paper planner line this year. And I would like to create my own website and get off of Etsy. All of those things always fall to the wayside. But as I've moved and as I've been kind of looking at my priorities, I put so much time into the boy stuff, which is great. It's it, they are my priority, right? But I need to prioritize my own mental health and my own stuff that makes me happy as well. And I think the move shook me up enough to realize, to realize that, uh, because like I need to be happy to create a happy home. I need to be pursuing my own interests and have my own thing. And, uh, some people in my life might tell me like, Oh, well you work a lot. You need to do something for yourself, but truly YouTube and Etsy is what makes me happy and is what makes me feel fulfilled and it's like my thing, you know? So I'm working on creating some balance to put more of like my thing on the schedule, which would be seeing you guys more and working on new products and launching my own stuff. So it's just a little life update. Again, typically I would give you this with an overhead camera and I would be cash stuffing while we chat through all this, but you're about to see an unstuffing for me and it's gonna be like, oh, I'm, I'm about to go on a trip and like I am planning on doing this. And I filmed that like 10 days ago. So you're gonna get that soon. I'm still gonna upload it because it is still an unstuffing. It's still pretty fun, but we are going to move forward and um, and kind of get more up to date these next, you know, in the videos following that. The other thing is, and the main, uh, one of the main reasons why I was like, oh my gosh, I have to give an update, uh, was because I never did upload the May printable for, the members and I am so sorry if you're a member of the website I I honestly almost have regrets that I started the membership I don't know let me know what you think in the comments but it was probably poor I know it was poorly timed to create a membership website in the process of a move and when I'm trying to launch and do so many things I am a <laughs> If I do anything, it is always bite off more than I can chew. That is just, that's on brand for me. It just is. And I'm resisting the urge to quit the membership. I almost want to just quit it and like restart it whenever I have the time. Uh, and I think I would have the time when I have an employee and I have some kind of help to do different jobs. Let me know what you guys think. I'm resisting the urge to close it because I know some of you guys love it, but I just feel like such a disappointment because I am not ever getting anything up on time. It's like the thing that definitely falls off my plate, right? But saying that to say the May download will be uploaded by tonight. I'm literally going to upload this unedited and, um, and then go make sure I get that over to you guys. So if you are a member of the website and you want the May printable, it's gonna be there by tonight. It always does take a little bit longer only because for the PDF for the, the uh, monthly like binder downloads, I do include more pages than what is in my, what I use to create the physical product, if that makes sense. So like there's always an added step of like some more edits that need to happen. And I'm always like, oh, I'll come back to it. And then somehow it just keeps getting pushed back and back and back. I'm working on that. I'm hoping I get better because honestly, if I don't get better, we're just going to have to, I think, do away with the membership. But I'm so, so sorry. This is the second month now that the 
monthly download has been or has come out delayed. Also, in addition to the May printable like PDF for the binder, let me know what kind of a download you guys would want. Like what is the additional thing that you would like put up this month? Cause I can try to make that happen tonight as well. But that is the reason why I was even making this video is because I wanted to, um, to let you, to let the members know, because I probably have emails that I have not made it to. And I wish I could explain more about like what's been going on this week. It's just, it's not mine to share. Um, but just trust that it, it was big enough to shake up the trip. It's kind of shaken up the whole week, right? Um, but I am back. I'm feeling good. I'm happy to be back with you guys. Let me know uh, what you guys have been up to this week. Let me know what you think about the membership site. Let me know if you have checked out the website and what you are excited is back in stock. And if there's something not back in stock, let me know what you would like to see next because I am working towards getting the full shop like back up and working consistently like having more items out can you guys hear it? that's it's got to be the kids <laughs> okay that is it for this video as always i love you guys i appreciate you and i'll see you again soon Bye bye